Offering only the finest in PC enthusiast apparel. Awesome Sauce shirts are not only threaded, they're hyper-threaded and come factory overclothed. Get yours today at the Awesome Sauce store. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something a little experimental planned for y'all uh, that actually comes as an idea from a follower of mine, Keith. Thank you so much, Keith, for sending me this idea. When I read it, I knew instantly that I had to try it. Uh, I actually haven't seen this done anywhere in the TechTuber space. I'm sure someone out there has done it and published it uh, in, on the interwebs, but I personally haven't seen it, so I thought it was a cool idea. Plus, I'm very curious myself to see how this all works out. Basically, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be taking uh, the radiator of an AIO like this Corsair H100i GTX, taking the fans off and submerging it into a bucket of ice water. As you can see, this this is a cereal container that's empty right now, uh, but I'm gonna be going to the store in a bit, picking up some ice, dumping it, in, dumping it in here, and then running some tests on my test bed here. 5820K overclocked at 4300 megahertz, 32 gigs of G-Skill RAM, X99 uh, gaming G1, G1 Wi-Fi from Gigabyte, uh, as well as a, an R9 285 from Sapphire. Not gonna be focusing too much on this card, it's really just here so we can run our tests, but I'm gonna be running all all these tests, uh, mainly GTA 5 as well as ASUS RealBench, so I've got some real world and synthetic pr uh, performance tests thrown in there. And then we're just going to compare and contrast the temperatures that we get from a standard AIO with uh, two 120mm fans uh, compared to uh, ice, ice machine mayhem. Um, obviously this is a very impractical situation, uh, or method of cooling I should say. I wouldn't recommend anyone doing it unless you're just doing it for the lols or for science. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, there's not really much else to this video other than and just kind of the, the curious the curiosity factor that's thrown in here but uh, I think on that note I'm gonna run to the store really quick pick up some ice so we can start testing although first I should probably put some pants on just gonna stand there and watch me You can get your ice pretty much at any local grocery store. I prefer Vons. They have a wide variety of different ice types. Anything from rock hard ice to room temperature ice, also known as water. All right, ice has been acquired. I got the Refresh brand. Let me know if you'd like me to review this bag of ice in a future video. All right, so we are back at home base now. And as you can see, I have promptly filled up our cereal container full of ice water. Uh, we've been running under load for about half an hour now uh, doing various testing so you can see the ice is starting to melt but rest assured the water is still freezing as hell. We also did manage to get the entire radiator submerged. I'd say 98% submerged as far as the uh, the fin stack. There's a little bit of the, the fin array sticking out, but for the most part we got full coverage there. Now I have already run the full gamut of testing for this video, uh, but here's just a glimpse at the idling temps. I guess I'm not fully at idle because I have some programs open for, for the purpose of the video, but uh, I was seeing as low as 8 degrees at one point. Uh, now that I have a few things open, it's it's we're still doing pretty well in like the uh, the uh, the low the low teens to the mid 20s. Uh, overall, pretty decent temps there. Uh, as compared to the regular AIO, when uh, there's no ice involved, is usually in the mid 30s. Uh, but really, we saw a big a big change moving over to uh, low temperatures, um, especially in Prime 95 right here. We got all the way up to 72 degrees Celsius on ice. I'm not used to saying that. Yeah, I'm cooling on ice. Now, when I did this same test with uh, the regular AIO with no ice, I was actually spiking up to 94 degrees Celsius after about 10 minutes, and I had to stop the test because I was afraid of overheating. So uh, this was really nice. I went, to, I was able to go 15, 20 minutes plus uh, with only capping out at 72 degrees. So I was pretty happy about that. Moving on to ASUS RealBench, really great synthetic test. It's uh, very realistic. Uh, we were getting about 84 degrees Celsius at the very max. Uh, with our liquid AIO, and then moving on to our ice liquid AIO, we dropped all the way to 60 degrees, uh, and that was the hottest core there. You can see most of the other cores are in the low to mid 50s range, which is actually pretty good. So overall, this was a 24 degree Celsius difference going from regular AIO to ice, which is pretty impressive. Uh, even more impressive was the gaming results for real world performance. I played a substantial amount of GTA 5 and maxed out at about 60. 
three degrees Celsius uh, with, the, with the regular AIO. And then moving over to ice cooling, we got all the way down to 35. So that was a 28 degrees Celsius difference, which uh, again, super impressive there. Now a quick disclaimer, I do want you all to bear in mind that cooler CPU temps does not necessarily translate to higher overclocks or anything like that. Most of the time you're gonna be limited by the silicon in the CPU itself. Uh, but what really chilly temps can do for your system is uh, to prevent any, any kind of throttling that may result from overheating. If you plan on aggressively overclocking your CPU, you don't want your CPU to throttle and get slumped down to lower clock speeds, then you might need a, a more substantial system uh, for cooling. But for the most part, this was just more of, again, an experiment, not very practical. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe some, one of you guys will start doing this like 24 seven, just keep replenishing ice into the cereal bucket. Uh, but for the most part, really cool idea. Thanks again, Keith, for it. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more tech videos coming really soon. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoy weird kind of experimental videos like this. And I might find another one to do in the future sometime. Uh, but for the most part, thank you all for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, these tubes, these tubes are really cold. Might even say they're ice cold. I think I'm gonna start benchmarking now. I should play some music while I do it. Uh, I was thinking vanilla ice. No, 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 no.